It's truly a business right out of the 1940s today. The dry cleaning industry is often a family uh, family owned operation and so very important to local communities. There are so many dry cleaners, you know, tens of thousands of dry cleaners across the country. They tend to be located just about everywhere. As a child I had a friend who I think his parents and grandparents had a dry cleaning business and, and the thing that I used to notice about it was just how severe the smell was when we would walk in, that it was a really harsh chemical smell and that I would never want to go in there. So PERC is a compound that's also called tetrachloroethylene and it's been used for a long number of years in the dry cleaning industry. It basically helps them remove uh, fatty acid stains and things like that from clothes. I know quite a bit about our local contamination problem which exists up on Club Boulevard at a facility that was a dry cleaners for like a decade back in the 60s and 70s and then after that it had a life as a men's clothing store and then also as a bank and then most recently as a church and for many years no one knew about the contamination in the soil and then um, the contamination was discovered and the state got involved to clean up the site so people at this particular site would be exposed to perk because the perk that's built would still be in the soil because perk is pretty persistent in the soil. So the soil acts like a kind of reservoir of perk and it keeps emitting perk outside. So all the people who pass through this area, like there's a mall right here and there's a bus stop right here and there's a restaurant just behind the building. And also there are a lot of people who live around this area. So all these people would be exposed to perk vapors even so long after uh, the dry cleaning establishment was shut down. And it turned out to be a particularly bad problem. For example, the church, um, the facility had indoor air contamination levels that were very high and, and not safe. There were, you know, maybe about 10 homes that were immediately affected. There were a couple homes where indoor air contamination levels were high above the, you know, the state cut off. So a good way to avoid perk contamination would be to actually not use perk in your dry cleaning establishments anymore and you know try to generally phase it out but if you do have to use perk uh, you should be really careful about handling and storage and how you dispose of it. I want them to get my clothes clean that's yeah. the most important service but for me personally it's more important that I'm not patronizing uh, uh, you know a business that is such an environmental hazard. I wish we had more dry cleaning options and if there is someone who's using a greener alternative to perk, I'd love to know about it because I don't like driving to Chapel Hill to get my dry cleaning. Well, how is Green Earth different from perchloroethylene or carbon dioxide, which is a cleaning agent, or water, which is a cleaning agent? It's a very clear liquid, much clearer as water. If I threw it underground, it would turn to 98% sand 1% carbon dioxide and 1% water. Okay, we're just introducing a load of uncleaned garments into the dry cleaning process. This is an 80 pound machine, so we're cleaning approximately 80. It was developed in the mid uh, 1990s and is actively being sold and marketed by about seven to 800 dry cleaners in the United States. We think that if dry cleaners um, looked for either alternative uh, ways to treat clothing um, that would be less harmful, that that certainly would be a positive for them and for their community. Approaching zero waste, eliminating um, whether it's harmful chemicals or packaging, is really an excuse for innovation, um, for product innovation, for cost reduction for a business. Thank you, Have a great day. We've only just kind of been given snippets of information. Yes, we're green, or no, we don't use PCE, or we're water-based. There are a lot of alternatives to dry cleaning um, that I don't think people know enough about, so that's, I think, a, a large area of just a misinformation, lack of information that could be improved.
Unfortunately, the kids dress like you do, and they don't need a dry cleaner. <laughs>